welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation today we are going to discuss about the chomsky normal form i am your instructor punam patel let's start to understand this concept so first of all we need to understand which form are said to chomsky normal form so if the context free grammar has a production in the form of this non terminal derives to non terminal non terminal dot non terminal so if the production contain exactly two non terminal is called as the this form is called the cnf form or we can say that also if this form is contain like single if the right hand side production contain a single terminal so if this two categories of productions if all the cfg productions are in this form we can say that this is the cna form chomsky normal form now let us check the following uh, production is in cna form or not so here you can see the first example s derives capital a capital b can we say that this is the this production in a cna form so see the form of cfg there are uh, cna form so there are two forms are available the first form say that if it is non terminal so it is exactly two non terminal so see the right hand side of production of this example so it contain two non terminal so it is in cnf form now check the next production a derives small a so small a is our terminal it is single terminal so the second form said that derive uh, second form that non terminal derive single non uh, single terminal so obvious this production are in a cnf form now next is a derive small a uh, a derive small b capital b so the right hand side production contain two things terminals dot non terminal so this is not in a cnf form so in the in the grammar the uh, question is uh, like uh, uh, the question is comes like this convert this following cfg grammar into a cnf form so we have to uh, try to convert this cfg uh, grammar into a cnf form so what are the steps we need to perform it so the following rules which we follow for the converting cfg into a cnf form if it is not in a cnf form okay so what step we are going to perform so the first rule number said that we have to first perform the cfg simplification steps so what is the cfg simplification step that we have already studied about in a previous video so the first step we have to remove the null production after removing a null production we try to remove the unit production and after removing the unit production we are trying to remove the useless symbols okay so in a sequence we are performing this uh, performing these steps so this step are called as a cfg simplification if in the exam they uh, ask that uh, they ask that perform the cfg simplification in the following grammar so we need to perform this three steps always okay now in a cnf form first of all we perform the cfg simplification steps now in a second rule number second rule said that if the form if you uh, uh, if the production is in this form like a derives b1 b2 b uh, b3 up to bn it means that it contain the more than one non terminals so what we are going to do so uh, more than two non terminals sorry because two non terminals allowed so more than if the right hand side production contain more than two non terminals so what we are going to do so they said that we are replace this uh, terminals by a uh, using another non terminals value like a derives b1 capital c where capital c derive b2 b3 up to bn the same way we can expand it okay now rule number so repeat this steps for the all the productions which we having more than two non terminals so this production is repeated until the production contain no two non terminals okay now rule number 3 it may be happen the production contain terminal and non terminal combination so the same way like a derives small a capital b 
now what we are going to do so when the terminal and non terminal combination appear in a right hand side production so we try to replace the terminal value by assigning a non terminal like you can see over here x derives a so in place of a i can put the non terminal x because it x itself derives a so a derives xb and x derives a we have to add the production for a which derives the small a because it is a terminal so if you see in this uh, production these two form are cnf form okay so this step is repeated for all the production which having the form like this terminal and non terminal a derives small a capital b now let us understand this concept by using the example so here it is my grammar which is a context free grammar and i want to convert this grammar in a cnf form so the first of all we try to perform the cfg simplification steps and then try to convert this form into a cnf form so first step in the cfg uh, simplification we try to remove the null production if you see in this grammar the productions contain the nullable variable is the null null production is in this grammar you can see a derives null a derives null now so this is a nullable variable now s is my nullable variable no this is ab it is not not b is nullable no b is not nullable so b because it is terminal so s derives ab b itself sorry b derives a so it is not nullable same ab if i put null over here so what string it contain null b so it is so this production is not give the null derive null derive okay s derives b and b derives small b now so this is not so here in this grammar a is only nullable productions so we are trying to remove it the step which uh, for removing the nullable production we have already discussed so right now i am not going to discuss about how to remove the nullable production so after nullable production remove we get this grammar so here you can see a derives null so the production contain a we have to put in place of a null and the remaining part that we get b like this a derives null remove it b derives like this okay now after removing the nullable productions now check whether this production is contain any unit production if yes we are trying to remove it so in this production if you see this is my unit production no because in unit production there is a single non terminal on its right hand side so this is terminal non terminal it is not but yes this is my unit production so we are trying to remove it so this is terminals 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 so remove the unit production over here so you can see after removing x derives b so how we are removing unit production so in place of b we have to put just b's right side, right hand side productions in place of b so here you can see here you can see in this grammar i have put s derives b so b derives a this okay now step number 3 remove the uh, rule number uh, sorry rule number 1 step number 3 remove the useless symbol after removing this the grammar which we get now check is there any useless production and useless symbol so how we are going to check so we have already discussed in a previous video so if you see first of all you need to find out the use useful symbol so here as derives b it is a terminal so useful symbol okay so small a terminals all are inputted now check Uh, which non terminal contain only terminals right hand side so this is this variable is contain only terminals only terminals so all are included because it is ended with the terminals s is also included now all the symbols are included so all the symbol are useful now check is there any symbol which are not reachable from the start symbol so in uh, from s i can reach b and from s i can reach a also so all the symbol i can all the non terminal i can reach from the s so in this grammar there is no any useless symbol and useless grammar okay so after performing the rule number 
we are moving the rule number 2 now we are uh, whatever the grammar that we get uh, that we get after simplification form we are converting those, those grammar into a cnf form okay now check whether the given production are in cnf form or not if not then we are trying to follow the rule number 2 or rule number 3 according to that production form okay so here you can see the productions if you see over here so first s derives a b s derives a, small a capital b a small capital a small b s derives a s derives b a derives b and b derives a so now this production is cnf form no it is not now again this production is cnf form no so we need to convert it into cnf form now this production a this production b a and b okay this is b so this all are production in cnf form so we do not need to modify it because it contain only single terminal which mean which is in cnf form so we are trying to convert those form which are not in cnf form so so in this grammar you can see this production which already in cnf form now we are trying to convert the grammar s derives small a b and s derives uh, capital a small b so which rule we need to follow it the rule number three if you remember the rule number two said if there are more than two non-terminals but rule number three are used where the uh, right hand side production co contain terminal and non-terminal symbol combinations okay so here uh, we are follow the rule number three okay so what rule number three said that so if you if it contain a terminals we have to assign this terminal uh, a single ter non-terminal so here you can see if i want to convert so what i am going to do the first i want to a derives b so in place of s what i am going to do i use a one non-terminal capital x which derives small a so can we write this thing like this so this is no two non-terminal allowed in cnf form this is single so in place of a i have assigned one non-terminal and this non-terminal write down in place of small a so at the end we can get the like this x derives b and x derives a so small a small b same way we can derive this s derives a b in place of b what we are going to do like any symbol you can take c b b so s derives c uh, sorry a c b and cb derives b like this so this is cnf form this is a cnf form here you can see ca derives a cb derives b so i have assigned two non two terminal to the new non two new non terminals now in place of small a in place of b where uh, wherever i need i can replace it with this two new non terminals value so in place of a i put i have write down the ca in place of b write down the cb now this is in a cnf form so this is my a grammar which in, is in a cnf form so here can here you can see s derives a cnf form s derives b cnf form s derives ca capital b or capital a c b a derives b b derives small a and c a derives C A derives C A derives small a, C B derives small b. Now verify it. All the form are in CNF form. Either it contain two non two non terminals or single non terminals. Okay, and sing single non terminals. So I hope this concept is clear to you. Thank you all.